So, growing up Asian American, you know, there are a lot of Asian Americans who grow up thinking that they don't want to be Asian and they and they want to be white or something else instead of Asian. I don't think I ever had that. So my family was actually not that well put together and we would be fighting all the time. So I have an older brother, he's three years older than me, and we would fight all the time growing up. And my dad would always say, whatever your brother does, do the opposite. And that's because my brother wasn't the model student, right? Or the model minority, right? He was influenced a lot by Asian gangs. And in fact, I think he was a part of an Asian gang called the Watching in Chinatown, or I, I don't know the name, maybe, I, who knows, maybe it's just my dad making stuff up, making names up, but I do think he was, he was part of some type of gang. So even though he was a bad influence on me, in terms of all that stuff, bad influence, he did instill a sense of pride in my own culture. All right, so where was I? So he did instill in me, despite all his bad influence, he did instill in me a sense of pride in my Asian culture or my Chinese upbringing. There's something about Asian fraternities or Asian gangs that make you feel prideful about where you come from and prideful about your origins and culture. So despite all his other bad influences on me, I'm grateful that he influenced me in this way to be prideful about my self-identity as an American-born Chinese growing up. So growing up Asian American, you don't really have many role models to look up to. And I guess being part of that gang culture, you get a lot of role models. You get a lot of older brothers that you can model after. And I think my brother had that huge sense of camaraderie with his other fellow gang members. I think they all felt the same way where the life at home wasn't great growing up, but they had each other to fall back on. I think right now, that's something that's sorely missing from my life. I think having that group of friends that have each other's backs is pretty much indispensable. If I look at a group of guys uh, like the guys at Just King News, like Bart Kwan and Joe Chisukawa, I mean, they've been together, like I've been following them since high school, actually. I don't even know, that's, I think I was class of 2010 in high school. So that's, that's been already like, I've been following those guys for like 14 years already, 14, 15 years already, which is crazy. But seeing their bond and seeing their friendship throughout the years, I'm really jealous of that, you know? I think after college or after grad school, people just kind of float apart and go their own ways. But the guys at Just Kidding News, I think they've made it a priority to get together and hang out with each other. And they even made a business out of it, which is really cool, I think. I think their business, they prioritize the time together while using Just Kidding News as an excuse to get together. Do you know what I mean? 
So in my opinion, they're not doing just kidding news to make money or anything. They're doing it to stay together as a unit and to make sure that they have something that they can do on the regular in order to hang out with each other. And I think that's really cool. Anyways, back to the Asian self-hate and pride thing. Yeah, I never, I never really had that type of self-hate growing up where I wanted to be white or something else. I did grow up with other Asian friends. Uh, I hung out with other Asian friends, so I never, I was never really isolated, I think. I, I lived in a pretty multicultural area, at least, so that I did have a lot of Asian friends that I could hang out with. So I'm pretty grateful for that. Oh, I think a lot of Asian Americans are connected in that sense in that they share the same struggle growing up with people that don't look like them. They feel isolated and alone, but when they meet each other, they can kind of share that similarity in how they grew up and there's less friction, I think, in getting to know each other. Growing up in America is a trip, man. You know, I wonder if I grew up back in Hong Kong, how different my way of thinking would be. I mean, my dad moved from Hong Kong to America because he was kind of afraid of, of Hong Kong going back to China and Hong Kong becoming communist country again, so to say. But to be honest, Hong Kong has thrived after it was given back to China. I mean, it's crazy how the mindset of people who were colonized, it's, it's crazy how much their mindset can shift. I think my dad has a lot of pride in China right now and has a lot of pride in his Chinese heritage. But I'm wondering what his mindset was about being Chinese in Hong Kong when it was occupied by the British. Because usually, usually when, when places are occupied and turned into colonies, the native people have what some people call a colonized mindset, where they think the occupiers are much more superior than them. And in this case, it was the British being superior to Hong Kongers. So I wonder if my dad also grew up or also had that mentality that he wanted to be white or British or he wanted to be a superior race while he was in Hong Kong when Hong Kong was occupied by Britain. I'm kind of glad that my brother instilled in me. Like I got a lot of influence from my brother. Like he would always watch movies inspired by Asian American culture, like Better Luck Tomorrow. And it's interesting because my, my brother, I remember my brother wanting my dad to watch the movie. And my dad hated the movie because he was all about the model minority mindset, which, you know, it's kind of damaging to Asian Americans growing up. So I do think my dad swallowed the pill of what mainstream media told him. that like, oh, Asians are model minority. They're the good ones. They're like, good doggy, good doggy. Piss me off. All right, anyways, that was just like me ranting while working out. I don't know if any of this made sense, but I'll upload it anyways. If you watch through this whole thing, <laughs> thank you, uh, I guess. Maybe some of it related to you too. But uh, yeah, thanks for 
watching this weird rant. All right, talk to you guys soon.